Hello guys, welcome back, welcome to my video, Tokyo Kara Konban wa, herzlich willkommen. Yeah guys, in one hour the stock market will open and I already gave you my opinion on Malen, where the next price level may be uh, and based on the Fibonacci retracement and based on the previous support guys, the yeah next support level for Malen is I think from my point of view sitting here at 18 cents. So now you see that Mullen has some kind of pre-market activity here, minus 7% and it's already growing. And you can see that we gapping down. So more or less it is confirmed that that was, that was some kind of possible support. Yeah, the bottom of this liquidity zone uh, was some kind of possible support. And this is the fashion how short sellers do it. They gapping the price down before the stock market open to break the support because when you trade in the pre or after market you don't need that high volume to manipulate the price. Why is this happening now? I mean just based on the technicals it's happening but there was uh, or there has been some SEC filing you can see that the uh, yeah, downside is now growing and growing so let's see if I'm right uh, with this 18 cents area. Um, yeah the reason is guys that Mullen uh, will make a uh, special stockholder meeting in December and of course what is a topic one of the topics of the stockholder meeting guys one more reverse stock split proposal guys yeah one for two or one for hundred yeah they want to do one more reverse stock split guys so if they doing this reverse stock split this year that means Mullen has three reverse stock splits in one year uh, guys uh, I don't know what to say uh, everybody who is invested in Mullen uh, and of course is in the minus right now since Mullen has its all-time low even today without this price action here I feel very sorry uh, I can just say guys yeah the only chance that you have to get your money back is I, th I don't think you can hope for a some uh, yeah some big thing to happen for Mullen of course I wish for everybody of you that you be profitable I wish that Mullen squeeze yeah to one dollar or um, yeah <laughs> I mean one dollar is nothing after those reverse stock splits but you know what I mean but guys to be honest I think the only chance that you have is to lower your buy-in price at a certain level that if there is some kind of uh, last uh, last breath for Mullen before they maybe get delisted yeah, because even if they do the reverse stock split, guys, so when the company has to do three reverse stock splits in one year, the first was here in May, the second was here in August, and when they have to do one more stock split in one year, guys, then yeah, there is there are just no buyers sitting who yeah who trust the company or who buy into the company that this thing can grow. I mean, when we just um, just zoom out for a second here in the weekly chart, I mean, guys, look at this. It's, and we just let me let me please switch off here all indicators everything let's just have a look at the chart guys and we have two reverse stock splits look at this guy so the last possible bottom for Mullen was sitting here at $40 guys $40 here $40 to $50 was the last bottom of course split adjusted where Mullen had some reactions some buyers waiting here is something yeah for a few weeks here was some reaction at twenty dollars. I mean yes you can hope that from thirty cents the price goes back to twenty dollars. Everything guys is possible in the stock market, but if you ask me, not based on this price action here guys. Is everything just red? We have just red candles since uh, February this year. There is nothing anymore since red. Of course at some point there has to happen something, but. I think the short sellers will be very successful if they speculate that this company goes bankruptcy guys. Uh, of course first we have the delisting to the OTC market. You can see how the downside is growing here and that's why I think yeah that's why I think the chart technique is still working for Mullen because that was some kind of possible bottom. I said that in my previous video. Let me zoom in again one more time for you. I said in my previous video, if we don't hold this support here at 33, 34 cents, I think from my point of view, the next price level, the price target is here at about 18 cents, here between 17 and 18 cents. This price range here based on the Fibonacci retracement should be the next um, yeah, price level for the short sellers. Maybe we see some kind of bounce incoming then, 
guys, this is not a financial advice, but I just try to help people to get out of their yeah red positions. Yeah, of course, I'm also not uh, 100% right, but yeah, it was based on this price move or what happened now here in the pre market. It is very visible what can happen. Maybe you know, we find some support here. We have to wait when the uh, stock market opens today how deep this thing drops. Yeah, but just beside this one squeeze that we had here or two kind of squeezes yeah cost of fail to deliver it looks not good guys i don't know what to say anymore so keep that in mind there is maybe a possible reverse stock split upcoming maybe in december and december is the year 15 of december then the, this will be the date of the reverse stock split then you can of course also vote no but what happens when you vote no guys the market capital is so low here for mullen and uh, of course the price under one dollar yeah, they have to regain $1, no no matter what, they have to, if they cannot regain $1, they have to do again a reverse stock split, and this thing is more or less dead, guys, you lose your money with this stock, this is very sad, or you go short, of course, I, I, I hate to say that, for all people who are long positions in mine, I know you will give a dislike to this video when I say that, but the only thing that matters, guys, is that, this, that you get your money back, so maybe you can also choose the decision to go short, yeah, until a certain level because we have no bottom here at Mullen at all. I don't know what to say anymore to this stock, but I wanted to share this with you. I, of course, I still try to help you with what I think will happen next. Yeah, of course, that is not guaranteed. Maybe we see also some bounce at 20 cents. 20 cents is also some favorite level where some kind of bounce happen. Maybe they fake out and we have a bounce here. And if not, if nothing happened here at the 18, 17 cents level, then 10 cents, guys, here is the next, the next level for Mullen, yeah? It is weird, but you can see now what happened here in the pre-market, guys. Since I'm making this video, we have been 7-8% minus. Now we're here already at 17% minus. This is unstoppable. This is just a matter of time until we hit this uh, Fibonacci level. And then we have to wait if there is some technical reaction, uh, aka buying or not, guys. Yeah, I'm very sorry, guys, but I want to share this with you. I think it's more important that you know what's going on, that you can prepare a little bit than just yeah, going blindfolded through the stock market and have no idea what's happening. If you want to learn more, guys, if you yeah, trust yourself, if you want to invest in yourself a little bit, if you, if you are <laughs> brave enough to yeah, go into this fight, how the stock market works, guys, then please be welcome and become a member of our Elite Circle family here, guys. Yeah, there I share a lot of details about trading, a lot of hidden indicators, hidden short squeeze stocks, yeah, possibilities where you may can get your money back, guys, yeah, because Mullen is very difficult to trade and very risky and almost a dead stock, yeah. I don't like to say that because I also traded Mullen a few times, but it's becoming a dead stock, guys. Of course, I will keep you updated if there are some changes, if there will be some price actions to the upside as well. Let's wait uh, how far this thing drops today, and I wish you good luck, guys, and yeah, see you in the next video. Thank you for your support. And please, if you yeah, want to learn more, if you have questions for my lead circle members, I also have the comment section open under each video. We share our knowledge there. We ask questions, make FAQ sessions, and of course, live streams as well, guys. Yeah, Thank you, guys. Take care. All the best. And see you in the next video. Good luck with your trades. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you.